Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're just finishing up another trip to the GTC 2015 show floor. GTC is the GPU Technology Conference and it is hosted by NVIDIA, so it's very heavily focused on GPUs and on graphics processing, image processing, and enterprise stuff as well, but there's a consumer slant to it too. PNY was present on the show floor. PNY, of course, manufactures NVIDIA-equipped video cards and also makes SSDs, so we took a quick look at the SSD these on the show floor just to sort of refresh everyone on where PNY is with its current lineup. So the the main one that's coming out shortly, it's not presently available but will be soon, is the CL4111, which is the new client SSD. And this is sort of uh, similar in class and pricing structure to Samsung's 850 Pro that many of you are familiar with. The 850 Pro and this new client SSD offer a little more than gaming grade SSDs and that would include things like enhanced security and encryption and just generally better hardware for uh, for different processing tasks. PNY's SSDs come in a few forms so looking at the client SSD strictly it ships in 240 or 480 gigabyte capacities using the SF2281 controller which is a tried and true Sandforce controller. It's a bit dated now it's actually several years old because third gen has still not officially launched. Uh, and then the 960 gigabyte model uses the Silicon Motion controller, the SM2246. And that's a pretty well-liked controller, performs well, and has sort of started to, to gain some market share as Sandforce has continued to age. The Silicon Motion controller has almost two times faster random read IOPS for the client SSD by PNY. It's at 71,000 versus 40,000 using the now Seagate branded Sandforce controller. Uh, but the Sandforce one does overperform a bit with write IOPS at 85,000 versus 75,000 with Silicon Motion. The other SSD that's been around for a bit is the CS2111 gaming SSD. And this is uh, sort of in the same line as the Accelerate drives that have been around for a while. The gaming drive they showed has a tiger painted on it. It's pretty cool looking, definitely targeted at the gaming audience. And this is why something like a client drive comes into play because the more professional audience wants something that's a bit more discreet and performs to a different spec. The gaming drive does use the Silicon Motion controller, the same one that the 960 gigabyte version of the client drive has and it's shipping at 244, 80, and 960 gigabyte models. So you can find more information on this in the link in the description below for the article. Aside from this, PNY had their Quadro cards on display, of course, spec'd more for professional applications, media production, and hardcore rendering and processing. So not super relevant to our channel, but always cool technology to look into because it eventually works its way down into the consumer market. So that is PNY's booth at the GTC show floor. Check the link in the description below for more information from GTC. We covered the launch of the GTX Titan X, and I will see you all next time.